All right, Kezzy. Me and you, right here at the at the Fakahatchee. We're gonna go exploring. Kezzy's gonna do her uh, her first swamp walk, and we're gonna hopefully see lots of orchids and cool plants. Maybe some animals. Maybe we'll see a panther, Kezzy. We're gonna see a lot of animals. So I I will get a little bit wet. So. Yeah, we might get wet. We might do some swamp walking, but yeah. it'll be a good time. Yeah. Here we are. We're not even. There's the the entrance of the trail right there, and we've already come across it. some vanilla, look probably Plantifolia or Phaeanthia. Daddy. Hold on. We're gonna stop and look at this. See, it's growing here in the weeds, and it's growing on that tree there. And we'll zoom in. See it growing up. Up the trees, it's everywhere around here. Yep, so that's our first that's our first orchid encounter on the trip. Yep. Alright, we made it twenty feet. And we've already come across our next orchid, which is a good old one sickly of Yep. The Tampa butterfly orchid. Yep. Growing in there. Yep, there's a lot of water here, so we love you, Mama. Yep. <laughs> My shoes are getting all muddy. Yep, they sure are. Yes, We're gonna be I real muddy and wet. Can I see your shoes? Oh my god. Yeah, this one's not so dirty. Yeah, yours are pretty dirty. Oh. Alright, let's keep going. Trees. Oh, that's the thing I remember about the Fakahatchee is the royal palms are just massive. Massive? Maybe our royal palm will be this big someday, Kezia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really tall. Come on, Daddy. Kezia wants to show everybody this white flower she found. What kind of flower is it? I don't know. It's called a white flower, I think. I don't know if I'm right or not. It could be a Biden's alba. It's in the sunflower family for sure. We but like we like it. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So the trip continues. I don't know if anybody can see this. That is a black bear. Probably. But well, we're not going to test it out. Can you see the bear? You can see him. Honey, he's right in front of us. I'm in the swamp, Mama. I like it because it's so pretty. Yeah, is it, is it as scary as you thought it was going to be? Yeah, did you see the big alligator? It's a little bit dirty in the truck, but it will be okay. Did you see a big alligator? We saw a big alligator. We saw two um, alligators in there. We love you, Mama. Mwah. All right, we're going to keep walking through the swamp. You probably will like we're it. We're down here in the swamp. And we have come across the next orchid species, Prostechia cuclieta, the clamshell orchid or the cockle shell orchid or the octopus orchid. That one's got seed pods. Nice. Most of these I find have a always devolved scale on them, just destroying them. But this one, from what I can see down here, looks pretty nice. All right, we got our next species here. This is an epidendrum. I think this is Amphiostomum. Look at all those roots. Hadn't found a ghost yet. Here's some new germinations. Hope it's showing up. It's getting. It's only like uh, 12 something, but it's. You know, it's winter time, so the sun's over there already, so it's kind of dense and shady in here. Kezia chilling out with the alligators and the water moccasins, just having a good old time. We got vanilla just growing up these trees. It looks like another point on my walking stick here. Looks like another, that looks really like I can't speak today. Epidendrum nocturnum. So yeah, two different epidendrum species right next to each other. We got Amphiostom. That could be a Nocturnum, but I think it's Amphiostomum. Because usually Nocturnum, yeah. Daddy, 
Cause look, here's the Amphistomum continues to bloom off of old flower spikes over and over and over. You see the new buds forming. And Nocturnum always has seed buds on it. All right, we're back. Next species is Epidendrum rigidum. Tiny little thing, not the cutest flower. It's just got a little tiny green flower. It's kind of in shadow right now, so hopefully y'all can see that. Because he is trying to trudge through and find all the alligators. But there you go. So we're out here, we have not found my favorite species, Certipodium punctatum, but we find more of those in the uh, big cypress basin. What's the matter? Oh, she has a feather. Uh, we haven't found any Certipodiums, but Thakahashi is not known for having very many. Uh, but we've been l searching the pond apple, looking for ghost orchids. We haven't found any of those yet either. Uh, we've all, I've only ever found one. It was not blooming. We're not going to find any blooming today because it's not season. Oh, we found all kinds of species. Right now, we're, there's lots of these uh, Guzmania. And look, here's even a, I think this is a variegated Guzmania. This one's variegated and that one up there is variegated too. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Up above this uh, fern here, we got another Epidendrum. Another Amphiostomum, I believe. We're finally getting into some sawgrass and some nice pond apple. Hopefully we'll start finding some more stuff. <laughs> Child's having a great time. All right, so this tree here is loaded. We got vanilla, we got all sorts of cool ferns, epidendrums, and then way up there we got a nice, nice prostechia cochleata. Oh man, it's not showing up because the sun's in front of the camera. That's a nice cochleata, one of the nicer ones I've seen in the wild. All right, right here we have Prostechia cochleata with some seed pods, which is what we like to see. And a child holding onto my leg. Still no ghost yet. Have you found a ghost yet, Kezi? A ghost? Yeah. I see one uh, over there too far. All right, well, let's go investigate. All right, Kezi would like to make a video for Mommy. This is um, a leaf. See, it has like green stuff. It's called a lily pad leaf. They like to dry in the water. I don't know if they grow or not, but you might like them, Mommy. So, so we might love to do this video for you. So, it's like, and this is uh, the pad so it can grow. Not really. But this is lines cause to make the leaf make a leaf. But that's not true. But this is the leaf, so I hope you enjoy it, Mama. Bye! I see you jumping around. Here is a vanilla. Well, there's a prostechia. But, where is it at? This vanilla has seed pods. Vanilla bean, there you go. Some that look like they're dehissing naturally, hopefully. I mean, this vanilla is everywhere out here. You know, we have a big clump of prostechia cochleata. Just growing on this pond apple here. They love it. Here we got a little baby seedling prostechia cochleatas that are germinated. Cute little boogers. Cute little boogers? <laughs> yep. What, what boogers? Cougar. Alright, what did you find? It's a feather. It's really soft, Mama. So I, it's a, it, we're, we're taking it home. So you, I, 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 you might want to see how soft it is because it's a magic feather, I think. I think maybe we should leave the feather here. No, no, I don't want to. Well, then leave you gotta it. carry it. I'm carrying it. Okay. Big cypress. I don't find as many uh, cochleata, but in the Thakahatchee, it's just covered in cochleata, and I'm very glad to see that they are healthy, and they do otherwise seem to be pretty scale free. I see some big ones on those uh, trees over there, all the way up. That's probably not a very good angle too zoomed in but yeah all the way up these trees there's cochleata you know I see a lot of seed pods which that that makes me very hopeful I mean a lot of these are self-pollinated 
uh, autogamous or autogamous. I don't know how you say that, but you know, they self pollinate, which is not great for genetic diversity, but it's still good to see. That means that there's going to be, you know, some new recruitment. All right, we're back on the trail now. And what seems like it could be our last orchid species, Habineria probably Floribunda. Growing, there's a terrestrial. Those are cool little, those are weeds everywhere. And they have a very, very fragrant nighttime scented flower. But there's a, it's another orchid species. All right, I can't tell if this is a ghost orchid. Y'all can see that. Ghost orchid or a ribbon orchid. It's some sort of leafless orchid. You can see the little apex there, the where the modified stem is. Again, no foliage, just roots. You cannot tell if it's Dendrophylax Lindinii or uh, whatever the ribbon orchid is. That's right here on the trail. All right, guys, this actually may be the very last orchid species. Here we have Ionopsis utricularioides or an, also known as the delicate Ionopsis. These are little twig epiphytes related to Tolumnias. They have these cute little pink flowers. You only ever find them growing on small branches. And no flowers right now, but they have a tendency to throw kikis off of the flower spikes. So there you go, this one's got a little bit of new root growth. Never find real healthy ones of these. They seem to always be small and barely clinging to life.